Hi, Jamie here. It's been a few months since I've made a video and uh, the big news around here is that I'm moving to China. I'm moving to a city called Jiamen, China and it's spelled X-I-A-M-E-N and we are super excited. We're moving there. We're going to be there for a few years. We move every three or four years because of my husband's job. So we are thrilled about this move. It's been a lot though, obviously. It's why I'm standing. <laughs> we are moving next week. We currently live in Houston. And so that said, I just wanted to just kind of do a real quick thing at the beginning about that, just to let you guys know. But also I think it might mean that my uploads are gonna be even farther apart, honestly. Um, I don't know. I've been told that things might be the same in terms of internet for me, but I've also been told to not count on it. So if you don't hear from me, it's not because I've disappeared and flittered away. Um, I have not forgotten about this channel. I will continue to do the work. I will continue to push the boundaries and ask questions and, um, and bring those experiences to this channel. Um, I think it's very important. So, but if it has been a stretch, you know, don't, don't think that I forgot about it. I will be doing it. So, um, but I might need to wait, you know, until I go to another country or um, come back to the United States to upload these sorts of things. So um, if you'd like to keep tabs on my travels, <laughs> I do do a travel blog. It's just a very quick family kind of thing. Um, uh, people like it. <laughs> I just tend to talk about kind of my funny experiences and it's just pictures of me and the kids, you know, kind of in places. So. Yeah, so definitely check it out. I'll put it in a link um, if you want to keep tabs on that. If you find me on Facebook in between then and there, or between this time, um, send me a message that you found me on Facebook, and I will uh, gladly, or found me through YouTube, and now you're, you're, you're sending me your friend request. I would gladly friend request you on Facebook. Um, I just want to know that you came from here. <laughs> so, so yeah, so that's the big thing around here is that I'm moving to China. So this video, I had a lot of ideas about what to talk about, but honestly, I'm just gonna go off the cuff and talk about dream incubation. And I didn't take any notes, but I think if you've ever worked with your dreams, you'll know that they can give you access and information that is phenomenal. I mean, of everything I do, dream work is the one thing that has changed my life in, in ways I cannot even tell you. It has told me and sh showed so many things about who I am, where I've come from, what's going on on this planet. Um, it, and I have been able to map together all my dreams into this amazing thing where I can, I, I just, it's just so enriching. I mean, my health, my gifts, who I am, where I came from, my relationships, um, I just can't say enough. And so I thought for this video, I would just talk about dream incubation. Um, if you don't know, dream incubation is this idea that you can incubate, <laughs> kind of like Inception, the movie. You can basically tell yourself before you go to bed, look, I want answers to this. Now, dreams are, are coming from our highest self. Um, I don't know a whole lot about that side of it, but I, I get the impression that they, they're gonna kind of tackle the things that you need to take care of. Like if, if you're doing something that's making you sick, then they're gonna tackle that. Um, or if you're in a really bad relationship, you know, or, you know, um, and that's affecting you. Those are going to come first. Those are precedents. Those are your dreams are going to start tackling that stuff first. But I personally believe that you can bypass that te temporarily if you just really, really focus on whatever it is that you want to learn. So, and I, I mean like stress out about it. Um, I'm not one to like sugarcoat it. Like I really mean like think about it all the time, all the time. Write it down on a piece of paper. This is what I want answers to. This is what I want answers to. Put it all over. Think about it, think about it, think about it. And what it'll do is it'll seep in there <laughs> and then you'll have a dream about it. And that's basically what dream incubation is. Um, my little example for this is that I, I have psoriasis and I have always, I've tried a few things in our, in our spiritual circles about to try to cure my psoriasis and it has worked wonders. That's a whole nother story, honestly about the power of our minds and what we can do with that. But before that, I started trying to incubate a dream about it so that I could figure out what to do and it worked. 
I was stressing about it, stressing about it, stressing about it, purposefully. Meditating on it before I went to bed. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Finally, after a few days, I had a dream where I was working on a math equation. And there was a bowl, like an algebra equation. And one of the symbols was a bowl. And inside the bowl was a lemon and a lime and an orange. And it was like this idea of, there's more to the dream than that, but it was this idea of like, this is what you eliminate and this is what you put in. And like, this is, the, this is how you fixed your problem. <laughs> and I thought, like, I was like, I came back and I thought, now orange, lemon, and lime? That's citrus fruits, citrus fruits. I never had thought about citrus fruits being a problem for my psoriasis. And lo and behold, I look up online and a lot of people talking about citrus fruits. I had never heard that. I mean, if you have psoriasis, you basically will do anything. You will smother yourself in peanut butter if it makes it go away. But I had never heard about citrus fruits being a problem. Now, I knew that if a bowl represents my bowels <laughs> and anything in the bowl is something that needs to be eliminated. So I eliminated citrus fruits from my diet and that in conjunction with a lot of other things has been making a difference. So that is dream incubation. But the thing is, is that I would not have known what that symbol meant if it weren't for the fact that I had this book <laughs> by my friend, Michael Sheridan. And this book is on my nightstand all the time. And I mean, Michael Sheridan is one of these guys that if you met him, he would just like give you one. Like this is his life's work. It's so important. And so this is not a sales pitch. This is a sincere, like you need this book. <laughs> it has a dictionary in it, which he hated to put in because things aren't necessarily that cut and dry, but it's so helpful and it's, it's my go-to. So I'll put the link to this, to the Amazon down below because the reason why I know that bowl is represented means your bowels is because Michael's, <laughs> Michael's process showed me it. So drink, dream incubation. Um, Kind of a cool thing um i haven't done it recently but for the psoriasis it was really helpful um yeah so try it out try it out just see what else you can slip into your subconscious to try to fix um so yeah i that was my that's my video for today um i just want to um say that it, you know <laughs> since i am moving to china that it, again it might be longer stretches of time between videos but don't think that i that i've just forgotten um continue doing I will continue doing the work I will continue pushing the boundaries and figuring out figuring out what's going on in this reality because frankly things are in my opinion not quite as they appear I really really think that and I think that it's a little weird that nobody is talking about some of these things I like projection, altered states. Um, so yeah, <laughs> keep doing the work. A sincere thank you to all of you who have supported me over the years. Um, sometimes, like sometimes you guys would write, you're doing a good job. I mean, those comments and that kind of support, I can't even tell you how much it meant to me. I mean, how much it does mean to me. It kept me going. Um, it's not easy to put yourself out there. It's not easy to talk about things that other people think are really, really crazy. Like I talk to guides and entities in other dimensions. That is weird. <laughs> That's weird, but it's true. It's true. So thank you. A sincere thank you. So uh, find me on other platforms. Um, and yeah, I hope you're doing well. Thanks for listening.